two women who have traveled a hard road to get here tonight. Myerlene Rivas, it wasn't long ago that she and her partner moved to Argentina. Her partner gave up his job so that she could live and train in Argentina. They received financial aid from some friendly people in Argentina, all of it hoping that she could get to this kind of stage, that she could get a promotional contract. She has that, and now she has an opportunity to show her skills here on the zone. Round one, Myerlene Rivas in the white trunks trimmed with gold. And Karina La Bea Fernandez in the leopard print. La Bea Fernandez challenging for a world title for the second time. Myerlene Rivas has taken part in seven world title fights, tonight being her eighth. That's if you exclude the interim title fights that she's taken part in as well as she lands a good left hook followed by an uppercut on the inside. Yeah, Fernandez has a little jittery style in her movement. Oh, hard right hand drops Karina Fernandez. Fernandez walked right into that right hand. Yeah, it was that movement. You know, she kind of put herself in position to get caught with that shot. It's like, we'll a, jer it's like a jerky style. We'll see if Rivas can capitalize here in the early going. Fernandez still firing away. What a start for Myerlene Rivas. 10 knockouts in her 16 professional victories, showing off the power. The, the opening nice. minute, look at this. With an uppercut. That was nice. You know, Rivas, all she really has to do is just be poised and um, allow Fernandez to keep coming with that style. She's pretty much walking into the shots. Doing Rivas the favor, making her job easy. Final seconds of a terrific opening round for Myerlene Rivas, who lands one more right hand that knocks Fernandez off balance. <laughs> and that blood splattering the face of Karina Fernandez. As Fernandez still banks the body. Shots being caught by the elbows of Rivas as she gives Fernandez a little smile. Rivas like, looking like very comfortable with this pressure game. Yeah, and I like to see Rivas, you know, be a little more busy with the jab. Fernandez trying to rough Rivas up along the ropes. moment along the ropes. I'm pretty sure I saw Fernandez try the old trick of jumping up with her shoulder. Yeah. Trying to take some sandpaper to this fight, perhaps, is La Bea Fernandez. He has touched the canvas, is now bloodied in round two, and he's a tremendous trouble. combination. But Fernandez is just pouring blood right now. Yeah, and Rivas doing the right thing, you know, she's just fighting off the back foot, allowing Fernandez to be aggressive and just make her pay right there with the right hand. Another right hand flush right before the bell. At the same time for Fernandez, you know, obviously she's walking into shots, but this is a change in attitude from what we saw from her against Jackie Nava, where she seemed a little bit content to just go through the motions and, and box and was losing the rounds, albeit it was to her hero, Jackie Nava. But right now, she is taking more hard right hands Rivas. from Myrlene Rivas. Rivas landed a nice uppercut on that bloody nose and Fernandez got on the back foot once that shot landed. I think a doctor's gonna take a look. Yes, yeah, definitely, it's a broken nose. It's a broken nose and I think there may be if it isn't a gash above the left eye, it's a lot of blood splattering everywhere. You know, and Rina should just attack that nose. You know, it's one of the most painful villains to have a bloody broken nose, and Rina should just attack. 
force the issue, get a knockout, or have the ref, have the ref or, or the doctor stop the fight. Even Rivas' gear right now is just covered in blood, an absolute bloodbath here in the third round. See, how Rivas right here should just be aggressive, you know. But you have to take advantage, there's only two minute rounds. And I think uh, the two minute rounds is what, is why you see less knockout in uh, women boxing. So, you know, Riva should definitely take advantage and put her, put her foot on the gas. Riva has 10 of them on her resume, looking for number 11 here tonight. And we'll be keeping a close eye on the corner of Karina Fernandez. And we saw the corner work of Myerlene Rivas and Rigoberto Alvarez. Now the doctor is going to take another look at the nose of Karina Fernandez, her trainer. Felipe De La Torre had some decisions to make. Opted to send his fighter out, but that is it. I think the right decision, yeah. Dave, you and I were looking at it. We're, you know, two yeah. feet away from this corner. Absolutely, yeah. that fight had to be stopped. Yeah. Her nose didn't stop bleeding. She was taking some bad shots, you know, a lot of punishment. I think it was the right call. An emphatic performance from Myerlene Rivas. Karina Fernandez bravely coming in on 10 days' notice. It just ran into a rejuvenated power puncher in Myrlene Rivas. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Roberto Ramirez Jr. calls a halt to this contest at the start of round number four. For your winner by technical knockout, she's still the WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Myrlene Lamonita.